Hello. Good morning. How is everybody doing? It is Monday, um, June 12th. It's actually my son's 23rd birthday. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, he was three when I found Access Consciousness. And I thought today on Coffee Talk, I would just talk a little bit about the old days, the old musings of Access back in the day, 20 years ago, um, and how I found it, and some stories and awareness and if there's any questions or comments um you know we'll see where we go but uh let's see back when i was a young mom i had the three-year-old and a six-year-old um i was a jewelry designer and um you know creating my life in san francisco a city that i always wanted to live in <clears throat> and and so like I had created all this stuff and I got to this point where I was like you know I've created everything that I thought I wanted but it wasn't quite as fulfilling as I thought and um, one day I was having neck pain and I went to my chiropractor who I had known for years and he had just become an access consciousness certified facilitator and he was always introducing different new age california things in his practice he was a very good chiropractor um, but he always had these interesting other things that he did and i explored them a little bit but it was like you know a little bit here a little bit there when i went in and sat on his table and said, you know, I have this neck pain. And I thought it was from making jewelry. He just asked me a question. So what's a pain in the neck? And I was like, oh my God, you know, the laundry, the husband, the kids, you know, all the stuff that stacks up and we tangle it all together and make it a problem. And he, he basically ran the access consciousness clearing statement and instantly the pain went away. He hadn't touched me. He hadn't adjusted me. He didn't do anything else. And I was like, what, what was that you said? What was that weird sentence? And like energetically, it just shifted everything in my body. I was like, what the heck was that? Whatever that is, I want to learn more about it. And so I started going to, he had these clearing nights, um, and he would share some of the access tools and run some clearings. And it was a very strange, weird group of people. But <laughs> I, I always felt better after I went. And um, I remember I was 39. And I think I was approaching my 40th birthday. And um, I had been going to these clearing nights and, and starting to change the um the negative self-talk all the you know all the points of view and the crap that we grow up learning is normal and um i took i think i took my first foundation right around then and people were like you don't seem like you're you seem like you're you know 29 not 39 and um, at that point, I think I'm trying to remember sometimes, you know, with these clearings, <laughs> it's like, you forget, you forget what things used to be before. Um, I just remember like before that, before going to the chiropractor and, and hearing the excess clearing statement, I just remember feeling old, feeling ugly and undesirable like truly it was very strange and um and through the clearings and through taking the foundation i changed a, so much of that stuff and then people started seeing me differently and and reacting to me differently and 
speaking with me differently, but it was mostly from me changing my point of view about myself. And um, one of the things that I remember Gary Douglas saying in, in classes back then is that healing is a byproduct of consciousness. And I heard the words and I had no idea what it meant. But I noticed over time as I had certain things that I thought needed to be healed or changed or whatever in my life, I didn't necessarily directly work on them, but they changed as a byproduct of becoming more aware. And consciousness is the awareness of everything without judgment. So it's peeling off the judgment and becoming more aware, not hiding from things, not brushing them under the carpet, but actually becoming present with whatever you're dealing with and clearing the points of view that you have, positive or negative. A lot of times people think it's just negative points of view, but it's also the positive side. Like, oh my gosh, this is the best person. They're so nice. They're so beautiful, so whatever. And then you don't see the other parts where they might not be that kind. So um, healing is a byproduct of consciousness. And there's so many things that will change in your life as you become more aware, whether you work on them directly or not. <clears throat> and um, let's see. What else can I share over the years? Well, another thing that Gary said that really, really blew my mind is he sat up on this stage and I think people were just getting settled and they hadn't, you know, they weren't paying attention yet as class was starting. And um, he was just sitting there and I remember sitting and paying attention because I wanted to hear everything that he had to say. He was amazing. Um, let me think, oops, somebody just texted me. I shouldn't do that. Um, so, so he said, there, do not disturb. He said, uh, it doesn't matter to me if, you know, whatever people get, they're going to get what they get. And he's like, I like myself. So I'm fine just sitting here. And I was like, oh my God, you can say that you like yourself. You can do that. You can say that you like yourself. Do you actually like yourself? And, and he did. And he's like, when you like yourself, other people just want to be around you. And you usually don't necessarily want to be around other people because have you ever noticed when you're around people that are judgmental and critical and whatever, it's just not very fun to be around, but there are those few people, hopefully <laughs> in your life that are not judgmental and critical and they're just a beautiful space to be with. So there's so many things that, that he showed me and he taught me just by sitting there and being himself in the classes. You know, some of the ways that people would show up and ask their questions and they're like so in their heads and the energy really is the thing that can change things. You know, what if we didn't have to try to figure out all that little blah, 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 blah that's going on in your life, but just simply relax, lower your barriers, and try to get a sense of, okay, what, what is all this stuff? Is it mine? And everything that's not yours, that you're aware of, that you're trying to deal with and figure out and, you know, put in its place or clear it up before you can move forward and choose your life and do what you're doing. Will you destroy and uncreate that? 
right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. So that's the access clearing statement. That was that magical phrase that my chiropractor said that cleared all the energy in my body that was like, wow. Um, <clears throat> if anybody wants to write any questions or comments, I'm just rambling today. <laughs> Um, let's see, what else can I share? So back then, Access was more like a family, it felt like, you know. We go to lunch with Gary and Bane and, um, and I think it was in three or four countries. Um, and sometimes Gary would come to town, he, he came to San Francisco area every three or four months, we were really lucky because he was traveling around the world, but it was mainly Australia and United States and maybe Canada. Um, and he would come here and I remember one time he came here and there were five people in class, five, at the Corte Madera Inn. <laughs> And uh, I don't think he was too pleased about that, but he did it anyway. And it was an amazing weekend workshop. I don't remember the title of the class. Um, but his dedication and commitment to creating this work and, and not being in judgment, it was just huge. It changed so many things for us. To be in that space so what would it be like if none of us judged how things showed up and we we're actually in question of what is this creating it's taken me many many years to get <laughs> better at that I can't even say that I'm to his level of <laughs> allowance um, I know I've traveled a lot for classes and, you know, sometimes the people that register cancel. And so you like fly across the country and you've got a couple of people and you're like, oh, wow. Um, hmm. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it still creates. And, and when you get up and show up and do what you say you're going to do, there's such a an amazing um, opening of your own consciousness that occurs and if you don't judge the creation the actualization of people it can grow and so and the cool thing with access tools is that let's say you judge something in the past let's say you were creating something and it didn't show up the way you thought or the way you wanted and you were upset, you can get the energy of that. So find, find some example of something in the past that didn't work out the way you wanted and you judged either yourself or the creation or other people, but it's usually ourselves that we're judging. And let's just get the energy of that everything that is let's destroy and uncreate it because we're the creators we can uncreate it right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys pub ads and beyonds and set the creations free to continue to grow have you ever noticed that plants they'll grow anywhere you know, they'll even grow through pavement. There'll be a crack in the pavement and like the little plants are growing up. What if everything that you've created can also grow if you don't kill it with judgment? And, you know, we're not perfect. We're not looking for perfection, but it's about more awareness. So if you know that you've chosen something that didn't work or it killed your creation you can destroy and uncreate that no matter when it was and ask what's possible now what is possible with all the things that we've created in the past 
that weren't possible until now. <clears throat> hmm. What else can I share? It's funny when, when I start talking about these things, I just, my mind is totally blank. So whatever I'm speaking to is maybe people in the future, the few people here who are live, but if you don't ask any questions, um, I am not sure what else to say because I don't have an agenda. Anybody have any questions? Um, hmm. I'll tell you, there's, there's something interesting about continually choosing more choosing to have your bars run, choosing to do the body processes, choosing, just choosing to be in question. Like you don't have to be an access robot and be running clearings all the time, but just simply choosing to be present, to do your best, to be more aware, changes everything. And, um, I've known people over the years who've maybe chosen access for a few years or something and then they quote stop they're like I'm not doing that anymore which you know it's fine choose what you want to choose um, but then I see people years later and it's it's like they've stopped the generation of their bodies and their life and they get much older looking and it's really strange to me to see that. Well, a lot of people do anyway, whether you're in access stuff or not. Um, there's a, there's a vitality to choosing personal growth, whichever kind of personal growth you choose. Um, there's a vitality. And so it keeps you youthful and alive <laughs> instead of, you know, going downhill, getting old, getting creaky, having your body be stiff. Ah, that's another thing that Gary used to say. The stiffness in people's bodies is created by their stuck points of view. So if you want to have a flexible, healthy body, less fixed points of view will get you there. So that's, that's just another example of the byproduct of, um, that healing is a byproduct of consciousness. The less fixed points of view you have, the more supple and youthful your body can be. So what would you like to create? A supple, youthful body? <laughs> That's what I choose. Um, and I am doing a two-part Zoom call coming up this Wednesday is the first call on reverse aging. Um, I did an intro, was it last week or maybe two weeks ago? That was really awesome. If anybody wants to get that, it's in the shop on, on my website. Um, it was an amazing call. And if, if you're at all interested in having a different experience with your body as you move through the decades here on earth, um, it would be a good listen. It's only $25. So get it. Um, and then join the two-part call because we're going to go really deep and explore other possibilities. Yeah, it's cool. And like, it's funny, as, as I get ready to facilitate that call, there's so many awarenesses coming in about what else is possible with 
being ageless. Like, it's not about fighting the fact that you've been here so long or, you know, um, barriering against, but like, what if you didn't have to grow old as your body has been here longer? And what if you could be generative and youthful? And what if the things that science says is not possible, the change is possible, they just haven't figured it out yet. I know that there's been so many miracles with the access tools, the body processes, um, whether it's mental, emotional, spiritual, or physical, literally anything can change. And if it hasn't changed yet, it could be because we're not asking the correct question that would unlock whatever is going on. So don't give up. If you would like something else possible, keep seeking, keep choosing, keep asking. Who can I talk to? Where can I go? What else is possible with this that I haven't imagined? And allow the universe to gift you something. It's very cool what can show up. Any questions? I know there's some people here, but I don't know who you are because you haven't said hello. I don't bite. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What else can I share about the good old days? Mm. Mm. Well, um, okay. I, at my first uh, COP, now CFP, Choice for Possibilities, back then it used to be called Level 2 and 3. Um, Dane was in the back doing his body work. He was $200 an hour. And I remember sitting in the front. I was sat in the front row. I was like, I want to get the most out of this. <laughs> but I remember like looking back all the time, like, what is he doing back there? What is that? And I got a session with him. And um, it was, it was pretty amazing off the charts. I didn't know what the heck happened, but everything changed. Um, and over the years, I would ask him, I want to do that. I want to know what you're doing. Like, can you show me? Uh, I must have asked him, I don't know, a hundred times. And eventually he, he had enough people ask him that he started facilitating the Symphony of Possibilities classes. And now there's so many people that are playing with these energies and we're not doing what he does per se, but we're like, we're being whatever we be with the symphony and changing stuff with energy. It's really, really cool. Um, nowadays, I don't even know how much Dane charges an hour. It's probably $2,000 or something, but I was so lucky to be able to be a part of the the growth of that and watching him over the years and like stepping into more and more and more of his potency. And that's one of the things that I really love about being in access for all this time is to see the changes that people step into and become it's amazing the most pathetic people you've ever seen like are the most potent and they're just hiding it so anywhere that you think that you're not enough or that you're not capable it's just it's such a lie there's so much more that each one of us is capable of and you know, it's, it's an ever expanding awareness that as we choose it, we become it. 
Nobody else can make you do it. Nobody's stopping you. It's just something you need to find on your own. So keep, keep going at your own pace, but keep going. Don't give up because it's super amazing, miraculous to see the changes, to see what people bloom into. And uh, I'm, I'm just excited and thrilled by that. So uh, I think I will wrap this up. Thank you guys for being on. Um, I'm going to jump over to my Finding Your Sparkle group and do an expanding exercise. So join me over there if you like. And I'll also put the link for my upcoming telecall, Reverse Aging Naturally. And please share it with any, anybody can join. It's, there's no prerequisites. Um, they just need to get the intro and it's gonna be awesome. Like what can we unlock together about what's possible with being ageless and not having to have this black cloud over our head once you turn 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, whatever. Come and play. Okay. Have a great week. See ya.